nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Myself doing this sort of thing forever. Rebellion. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not gonna Rebellion! Try. Festral nests close by. Kill any who trespass. Let's go. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Silent as a grave. An intruder! Goblins will finally rule over wizards. What 
were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks Rebellion. like Randall's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Bombarda! Incendio! Revelio! gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Job or not. Hello? No! Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda. Good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrog's got that right, and I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. Oh, I could 
forward with Africa's totalis. Wait a moment. How nice of you to stop by. This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Revelio. Rule over wizards at last. <laughs> Safe travels, my young friends. Petrificus Totalis. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders, how fitting. Confringo! Glacis! Incendio! Accio! Bombarder. 
These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Potato! Stupid one! Staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Incendio! Bombarda! Rebellion! Bombarda. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Bombarda. Defender. Defender. for runes. Revelio. Incendio. We've seen runes like these before. Finding these chests, luck or instinct. Rebellion. to find all three room symbols to open the door. Can't get out of here quick enough. Rebellion. Sebastian, a journal entry. We should look for more. 
Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Nice teamwork. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. Rebellion! That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris in Incendium! Rebellion! Repairer! That was a piece of work. More than one. Rebellion! Couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. Did you find something? A journal entry. Isadora was here. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! Out of breath after all of those steps. Revelio. But the few. Well worth it.
Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Another barrier. We can go through it. Certain. Incendio. Revelio. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Revelio! Bombarda! Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Revelio. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Defender. Bombarda. Isadora created. Revelio. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. <sighs> the final canvas piece to the triptych! We've done it! Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps Rebellion. completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. I do not believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. An 
another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's cobble and silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves some. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne.
Why did the keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so, too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good. No matter how ruthless the foe. 
And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon it. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. 
Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a Centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. We know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, the spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Accio! Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. <coughs> Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant.
Stimmt. Incendio. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Bombarda. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Glacius! Incendio! Bodega! Stupid Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Bombarda. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Descender! Accio! Revelio. Bombarda. Did you hear that? We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Revelio. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. 
It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I am. Rebellion. Have. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Inset. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Wingardium Leviosa. That's a lot of bone rattle. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Rebellion. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Defend 
Bombarda. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Akio! That worked. Keep going. Incendio! Incendio! Revelio. Incendio. Glacius. Incendio. isn't it? Incendio! Revelio! Accio! Rebellion. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Bombarda. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Rebellion.
shield. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Guardian Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Akio. Rebellion. The Slytherin student was so entranced with this place. Akio. Glacius. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Potato. Stupefy. Glacius. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic, look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Ominous. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. 
You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on! and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to Revelio! Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Incendio! Accio! Incendium! Accio! Incendium! Accio! Incendium! Accio! Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium 
Leviosa. Accio. Indoli in Leviosa. Accio. Indoli in Leviosa. Ricky's Jump Bridge complete. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. Yeah. It only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. <clears throat> Velkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Revelio. What have you done? 
saved my sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. Bombarda. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Incendio. Akio. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Arresto Momentum. 
Rebellio. This place stinks of Ranrock and his cronies. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Of this Something seems wrong. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. 
Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Red Rock's going to be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? Will ya? That has to be the end up ahead. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Revelio. Incendio. One less human to worry about. Sir. Rebellion. Revelio. Accio. Indonium Leviosa.
Wingardium Leviosa. Akio. Revelio. Where does this one lead? Off the beaten path, I suspect. I'd better like these boilers if I want to go any further. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Loggot does. Right now, I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's run. Descender! Bombarder! I won't rest! Dead! Let's... Descender! Stupid time. 
Bombarder, Defender! Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. Expelliarmus. Bombarda. I have to find a way to stop that drill. to stop this. What is this you've brought me? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Don't! Are you all right? I will never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time. Looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Abomicadabra! hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. You can't. 